Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a public announcement that I'm back. The reason I was gone is because of personal issues um, within the last few months. I've also been very busy. I also recently had a surgery on my eye. I had four surgeries on my left eye because it was going blind. But I don't want to talk about it too much in this first video that I'm back because I don't want to make it too sad. So I'm probably going to talk about it in another video, but I'll still probably include a picture. So this is Online Fantasy League. I'm just going to jump straight into it. What we did is we chose real rosters and we did a fantasy draft of two rounds. And I probably chose the weakest team. I chose the Golden State Warriors. I say it's the weakest because in the draft, everyone's taking superstars. So everyone took stars from the Golden State and basically my starting lineup was destroyed. So the Golden State Warriors are the weakest teams in this type of league that we did. And uh, I just want to talk about the beginning. I didn't really talk about it yet. So what happened was I received a trade offer of Tony Parker for Quinn Cook. I said no to that. And the next video clip that I showed was Harrison Barnes in a trade. I decided to take that trade because I needed some offensive help. Even though Harrison Barnes has a 25 mil contract, one of the highest in the league, Harrison Barnes is overpaid, but that's basically the highest scoring option I could get <laughs> uh, in terms of what I was offering because nobody was going to give me a superstar for Sean Livingston, Iguodala, and you know those players. So Harrison Barnes is the only option I could take. So I did the trade and I got Harrison Barnes. So I had the default Warriors roster minus the starting five. So I lost Steph Curry, Klay Thompson. Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, and DeMarcus Cousins. And with my first two picks, I got Chris Paul and Marc Gasol. And the rest of my squad is the bench of the Golden State Warriors. With the trade I made, I got Dirk, Harrison Barnes, and um, I think Shabazz Napier. So with those players on my squad, I have the Warriors bench. With those players, Chris Paul and Marc Gasol. And what I'm saying is that the other teams, they benefited greatly from this draft because in two rounds, you could only choose 60 players, right? So the first 30 picks are obviously the best players in the league. In the second round as well, whoever is remaining, it should be like 80, 84 overalls, 83 overalls, etc. And since Golden State doesn't have a bench, really, I lost my starting five and I got left with basically one or two role players which is Iguodala and Livingston all the rest were straight up trash while the other teams since we only chose 60 players they didn't really get those like people didn't pick those players for example let's say the Orlando Magic nobody chose Mo Bamba nobody chose Aaron Gordon nobody chose um, I forgot who else is on that team but basically nobody chose those players so what happened is that the Orlando Magic gets to keep them but they add two superstars I mean they add two high overall players to their team so as of right now I think they have Zach Levine Ben Simmons Aaron Gordon Mo Bamba so as you can see they kept all their good young players while Golden State lost all of their starting five and another example can be in Minnesota for example like the only player in Minnesota lost was Carl Anthony Towns. Besides that, they kept their default roster and added two super, two high, I mean, two players that are good. So I think with the Wolves, they have, um, I can't remember who they have, but they have two good players right now. And they kept Wiggins, they kept Derrick Rose, they kept um, Covington, they kept Saric, they kept all the good players. And one last example I could give on the top of my head right now is. I can't really think right now. I think Sixers? No, I don't know. Most teams, they got way better while the Warriors got destroyed. And another example I could give is the team I'm playing right now is the Pacers. The only player they lost is Oladipo, but they gained Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. 
So as you can see, their team got way better. They lost Oladipo only. And with the first pick, he got Donovan. Second pick, he got Devin Booker. And he still kept Miles Turner, which is like an 84 overall. The Pacers got really strong while keeping their young core. They only lost Oladipo while gaining Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. So that's an example, a perfect example actually. And the main reason we did this was because the real fantasy draft of 12 rounds doesn't work. We tried it at least twice and um, it kept glitching, the timer was off. It, it didn't draft properly, we'd have, we'd have to wait minutes, like 5 minutes for it to show, it would lag. So we did this to try to balance the league, but obviously Golden State, um, they're the team that got destroyed the most, because you lose 5 and you gain 2. And the rest of their roster outside of their starting 5 don't have tradable assets, so yeah. As you can see, this will be a defensive possession on our bot- oh no, ah, I'm choking right now. Sorry, it's my first commentary in like literally 5 months, so I'm literally- um, I'm rusty, I'm coming back from surgery, I'm coming back from a lot of things. And like I said, I'll be talking about that in another video. And in this first video, I wanted to keep a positive vibe. So right here, he does a pump fake. I could have jumped for that since it was Devin Booker in the corner and the quarter was ending. But I didn't. We got to stop right here. I gave it to Jerebko on the break. I decided to give it to him because he has catch and shoot. I think on silver or on gold, so I gave it to him. And he was kind of open, so it was a better option than Tony Allen on the left side. So here we're playing defense once again. We're up by 5 to start the 4th. And this quarter had a lot of action. Nice block there by Kevin Looney. So his play style with Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell, if you haven't noticed, is a lot of pick and roll in the middle of the court while everyone else is standing in the corner. Very hard to guard because Devin Booker and Donovan are very good finishers and his teams are full of shooters. So it's very spread out, offense, tough to guard, very hard to um, to stop, just gotta try your best. Once again, high screen roll, Donovan and Miles Turner. I'm trying my best here, wide open lane, it's very tough to guard because they're very fast. And as soon as he hits turbo with those players, you can't really keep up with them. So here comes another screen and roll, same play as last time where Donovan got the dunk, but I got the strip right there. And um, he's running another play here. He's going in the lane. The catch and turbo. The catch and turbo is very hard to defend. Basically what that is, is as soon as you catch the ball, you just hold the turbo button and you drive straight in. Very hard to guard. Chris Paul gets fouled right there. Two free throws, clutch time. Make the first one. It's very tough because our league is on Hall of Fame, so if your free throw is not on perfect, you're most likely going to miss it. And quickly speaking about the league, we got some openings, so if you'd like to join, just let me know. Obviously, there are some requirements to enter the league. Nice pick and pop. I mean, sorry, pick and roll right there. Obviously, some of the requirements. Gotta play on ball defense. Chris Paul right there. Big perfect release. Two point lead gotta run some plays this is a money play right here he ran it a couple of times this game it's very hard to defend as well a lot of players in this league have that play I might run it myself so because <laughs> it's very it's a good play hard to stop why not run it right another screen and roll like I mentioned he's been running this play pick and pop pick and fade pick and roll or driving it in the lane most of the game Devin Booker high top of the key he's trying to run it again you see this Screen and roll, floor spread out, very tough to guard. I get a nice steal. I make one of the biggest mistakes of the game. I tried to do a fancy passer, I don't know why. And I didn't even realize that was Tony Allen. I thought it was someone else. So that was one of the worst decisions I made in this game. But hey, you make mistakes during the game. We all do, we're not perfect. But this is how you improve. I find... Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Crowder. <laughs> it's hard to see right now with one eye because I'm, like I said, I came back from surgery, so it's tough to see. I'm trying to see who that was. One second left. Gasol puts it right back in the lane. Two point game. Very tight. Crowd is into it. Donovan, screen and pick, pick and pop. Running the same play. Told you, it's hard to stop. <laughs> hard to stop. I said stop. 
gets a block. I just had to shoot it with two seconds left. Gasol gets the old board. Put back. Two point game. Devin Booker off with pin down. Donovan Mitchell running the lane that money play. Pick and pop. Very, very hard to, to defend. Four point game. I'm still mad at myself for that Tony Allen fancy pass. I don't know why I did that. Gasol in the lane. Quick bucket before the three second in the key. As you can tell, the crowd is into it. Very, very close. Need one stop right here. Donovan has the Gatorade symbol. He's probably going to run that pick and... <laughs> that pick and pop or pick and fade play. He gets a screen for Booker. I see a screen coming to the right side. Nice help defense. Good block. We collapsed. Let's go. Pushing the basketball. I see Gasol wide open. 85-3 ball and he misses. Ah, very big miss right there. I gave it to Gasol because he has an 85 three-pointer. He has catch and shoot on silver. And he made two baskets in the paint. So I figured why not go for the win. Jay Crowder misses the first. Makes the second. I fouled him. So it's a three-point game. He made both. One more chance to tie the game right here. Give it to Dirk. They double him. Gasol is open. Redemption time. And he misses again. Missed the wide open basket to tie the game. That was tough. Very close game, very winnable. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Wish me the best as well for my recovery. I'll definitely be posting some more. I have a lot of gameplay to post. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like, a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.